Welcome to another edition of Sumo Card Hub, where we talk all things sumo wrestling cards. And as usual, I'll start this episode off with the top 10 most interesting Yahoo Japan auction results uh, with sumo cards. Got some fun ones today, a lot of historic and older cards, and then we'll end it with some pretty high-hitting modern card auction endings. So again, uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Hit subscribe below. Um, hit like on the video if you like what you see, and we'll continue to produce this content for the, the broader sumo card collecting world out there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the first uh, auction here. I think this has got to qualify for the steal of the week. This auction went for, you can see over here on the right, 1,200 yen, about uh, 1,200 yen, so about uh, 10 US dollars. You can see seven bids at the top. Why is this one interesting? Well, you can see right here this red box. That is the 1956 Suzuki Publishing Karuta Sumo set. You can see Tochinishiki on the front there. Um, that is a somewhat difficult set to find, a Karuta, and I'll show you a picture here. Let's go to the right. A little zoomed in here. You can see a little Suzuki symbol here. But again, uh, what Karuta is, is you've, it's a game, kids game typically. And you've got these picture cards, and so that's really what you're chasing here in these sets for sumo card collectors. And you've got reader cards, and you put all the, the picture cards face up, and then you have a reader who reads through each of these cards. And uh, the clues in the reader card will, will hint at what picture it's referring to, and then all the kids try to find that card and slap it. First person to slap it gets that card. And then you continue through all the reader cards, and then the winner is the one that has the most picture cards at the end. So pretty cool game, great price again, 1,200 yen, about a 10 US dollars. Um, just again, all around great pickup. I think some more interesting games in the set for those interested in it. But uh, but I'm scrolling to the right here, and I don't quite know what this is, but it's a it's a baseball awase, so matching game. So I've got to imagine that's uh, that's worth at least the price of the auction as well. So whoever picked that up uh, got a great deal in my mind. Um, just again, an all-around great auction for a super price. Scrolling to the right, this is another interesting one. This is from 1905. Yeah, you definitely heard me right there, 1905. This is the R051 set, uh, what, what I've ca characterized or cataloged as the, um, the Priest Gun Fox back. And I'll show you that here in a second, but you can see wood block printed Menko. Um, these are the, the R series or, or Rikishi series. Menko, you can see their die cut. This is These are all wood block printed. Uh, not the extremely highest quality as far as printing, but, uh, but just some great figures and some great drawings nonetheless. I'll zoom in here. Let's see what Kunimiyama there. Uh, Oshimagawa. Got some other ones here. Kaizen, it looks like. So just some great pictures. And, and, and here's why it's called the, the Priest Gun Fox back. And again, I, I think I probably got that wrong. It definitely looks like a fox down here. Priest um, here. And then what I've categorized here, let me zoom in a little bit, is, is a gun. This could be actually a person smoking, but it looked kind of like somebody shooting a gun. Uh, anyway, Anyway, just an interesting back. I'm not sure why these three images were chosen, uh, but uh, but that's how I've characterized it or cataloged it right now. So 56.94 uh, yen, so it's about the 51 US dollars, 22 bids. So definitely got a lot of action on this, and, and I'm surprised it went for so low, given just how old these are and and really just how. Um, difficult they can be to find. Now recently a lot of these have come to auction so it sounds like somebody or looks like somebody out there uh, had a big supply of them or found a big stash of them and has been slowly auctioning them off but but regardless a great great price for this 1905 R051 set. I've got several postcard auctions I want to breeze through. Uh, at least to me postcards are becoming more and more interesting just because of the, the time period that they capture some of the great images of, of Rikishi and Sekitori from the past. And so just wanted to highlight about three or four here that popped up this past week that went for really strong prices. You can see here on this Mina Nogawa 
a Yokozuna postcard, about 7,000 yen, so what, 66 US dollars, seven bids, so a lot of bids on this, this pretty historic postcard. Don't have an exact date from 1937-ish to 1941 when Mina Nogawa was, was Yokozuna. Looks to be actually hand-signed, so if that is truly a, an authentic signature, this is a great price uh, for this, this uh, old of a postcard. You can see some foxing around the edges in this in this embossing on the bottom right hand corner. I haven't actually seen this style of postcard before, so leading me to believe it's pretty rare. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in through some some more close-up pictures. You can see Minanogawa there. You, again, you can see it looks like he signed it in ballpoint pen. So yeah, that we, we'd have to definitely um, see if ballpoint pens were around in the, the 1930s, uh, early 40s. Certainly could be, just would wanna want to authenticate that or double check that um, but you can see the Yuasa and company printed this postcard um, it does look like it was in some sort of scrap album you can see the black backing there that pulled up some foxing again all, all along the back but just a great po looking postcard from uh, the late 1930s early 1940s of Mina Nogawa we've got another one here this is Tama Tamanishiki Another strong price, you can see 8,600 yen, so a little over 80 US dollars, six bids. Um, just a great picture of, uh, of Tamanishiki. He was Yokozuna from 1934 to 1938. Uh, he was actually the only only Yokozuna during, um, I think the first two years, 34 and 35, he was the sole Yokozuna. It's similar to what we have right now uh, in Sumo. No, not, definitely not too dominating and in, in fact right before he became Yokozuna from 1931 to 1934 there were no Yokozuna there were just Ozeki on the Banzuke so uh, just a great interesting time period in sumo and it's really cool to see this captured um, on a postcard I think it, it is the Seikaido or at least this is the part of Tokyo that it was made in um, uh, I don't know. Uh, again, this could be a company. Still need to research. I, I haven't dabbled in postcards too much, um, I, but I definitely want to want to learn a lot more of those going forward. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to highlight what I think is a great looking postcard from from the late 1930s of Tamanishiki. Getting into some stronger prices here, you can see another Yuasa uh, postcard. Here's of the great Futabayama. You can see him holding a little trophy there. Yuasa stamp here, just as we saw earlier with Amina Nogawa. This one went for, um, let me zoom out here, 11,000 yen, so what, about 105, 106 US dollars, 15 bids, so just a super strong price on this. Looks like he double signed it. Yeah, can you see that here? It looks like a signed from the top right to the bottom left. And then he also hand signed it uh, from the top left to the bottom right. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, possibly some authentic signatures. And truly, if they are, um, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, you can see uh, the Yuasa and company, a lot of foxing. Here's here's the scrapbook backing that pulled up as well. But uh, but again, a super strong price for a great historical Yokozuna. One of the, arguably one of the best, if not the best, Yokozuna of all time. Going on to another postcard, just uh, this one actually is just a bromide card, uh, not a postcard, Futabayama, um, blank backed, haven't seen this style before, don't actually have the size on this, but these look each to be a millimeter, so what, um, I guess, I, I guess I can't even read those, I don't see any numbers on them, but, uh, but probably postcard sized here for a Futabayama, super strong price, 18 bids, 13,000 yen, so what, uh, this is almost 130 US dollars on this one, so really, really cool. Um, I, I'm sure there's more to it from this auction, but um, uh, given given all the number of bids and the high price on this one, but uh, again, just a great picture from the late 1930s of Futabayama. This is another strong, let me zoom in there, this is another strong auction, 100 one, or sorry, uh, 17,000 yen, so what, 160, 162 US dollars, 14 bids on all these postcards from the 1930s, possibly 1940s. Looks like a Tamanishiki, you saw him one there, or earlier there. Um, 
can't quite tell who that is. Yokozuna wise, the Bayama there. I think there's another Tamanishiki up here. Let's scroll through them. Some great pictures. Uh, Minanogawa looks like uh, is that Tabayama and Tamanishiki um, next to him. Can't quite tell. Great pictures. My My Dayama there. Tamanishiki. Is that uh, Aki no Umi? I think he went on to become a Yokozuna. But again, just some great photo. Tabayama. Um, just some great photos of, of historical rikishi. So I'm not surprised it went for so much, given uh, each one of those. I'm counting, what, 20, 25 or so um, postcards. So again, great price, great strong price for this older stuff. Uh, and I appreciate everybody tuning in, looking at this older stuff with me. Uh, but let's, let's move on to some modern auctions that were pretty interesting. All right, this next auction is from uh, the 1997 Historic set. Uh, this is actually an unopened box from 97 uh, of this set. So it went for 11,600 yen. So we'll just call that 100 and, uh, we'll just call that 110 US dollars or so. Seven, seven bids, so a lot of, lot of strong bidding on this. And, uh, and not surprising, you know, we early on we mistakenly thought that the the historic set was released after the modern set in 97 but it turns out that the 1997 historic set was actually the very first bbm sumo card set released and then a few months later they released the modern set so this truly is the first bbm set released um, uh, out of all the series so pretty cool difficult to find some of the cards in the set and let me scroll over here um here in English, you know, it says 200 cards in the entire set, 127 singles. It's got these 33 three, um, three piece adjoining prints. It's got these 36 nine piece puzzle prints, and those are the the harder ones to find in completing those nine piece puzzle prints. Uh, in fact, some of the, the advanced collectors in Sumo Card have have yet to complete this entire set. I think this is probably one of the most difficult to complete out of all of them, and it's because of this subset here, this 36 nine piece puzzle prints. So. Uh, you know, again, not surprising, probably some of the, the BBM Sumo Card Collectors group on Facebook, uh, somebody there probably bought this one, hoping to uh, to land one of those very difficult nine-piece prints. But super strong price, again, for uh, the 97 Historic set. Another fun one. So this is from the uh, 20, or excuse me, 2001 Keisho Mawashi set by BBM. There's 40 cards in this set. Uh, they they produced 4,000 sets of this, uh, but given how hard they are to find, I, I'm not sure they sold all those sets. Uh, there's probably a warehouse full of these somewhere unsold, but just some, in my mind, just a great looking set. Uh, I love I love these Keisho Mawashi sets, uh, showing the the Seiki Tori uh, in their Keisho Mawashi. Um, I believe. In my mind, you know, one of the big chases of this set and really why you would want this set right now is because of this card here. This is Asha Shoyu's debut card, or, or Deka, and just um, just a phenomenal card. Unfortunately, this is a, a very poor image of it, uh, but but certainly this is the card you want to be chasing in this set as this Asha Shoyu. Uh, I'm gonna scroll here a little bit uh, further, and in this is in Sports Card Magazine, they showed this set. 2001 looks like uh, it was released on January 9th, right before the the uh, the uh, New Year Basho, for 28.57 yen. So about what about 3,000 yen at the time. 40 cards. It just highlights a little bit here. And so again, super strong price, 19,500 yen. I'll just call it, um, let's just go ahead and say 185 US dollars, 15 bids, not surprising. You're chasing that uh, Asa Shoryu, Deka, uh, as well as some just some great Rikshi. You see Akebono, Musashi Maru, Takanohana, uh, Kayo, Dejima, all right? Muso Yama, Miyabiyama, just some, at this time, just some super strong uh, Yokozuna and Ozeki. So congratulations on whoever won that. Uh, hopefully, if you are from the BBM Sumo Card Collectors Group, you can show that one off and uh, let, let us know um, what you picked up, how, what condition each of the cards are in. And then this one ended just early this morning. 
This is a complete set of 2005 BBM Sumo cards. It's a 99 card set. Uh, and this this was produced in the dead era, what I'm calling the dead era of sumo cards, from the 2002-2003 time frame to you know I'll just say 2011-ish, 2012-ish. Popularity of sumo was extremely low. Uh, BBM produced very few cards uh, relative to the other ones that they had pre uh, printed. No inserts, so no no chase, no short print cards. It was just strictly a, a base card set. And finding unopened boxes of this stuff is extremely difficult. And uh, finding a complete set of this uh, as well is, is extremely difficult now, just given the high demand and low supply out there. So 27,500 yen, so I'll just, uh, we'll just call it, the, we'll just say 260 US dollars. We'll just round it off there. 20 bids, not surprising. What you're chasing is, is Ama, um, Haruma Fuji's debut card in this set you see uh, Asa showed you uh, I think uh, Asa showed you's, uh, and he's number one in the set and can trying to see through some of these uh, these images here you got Hakuho's second year uh, card in here and just I'm gonna scroll through Kotoshu early card of Kotoshu Harder to see. Uh, hopefully, everybody's got uh, at least some images or can find some images of these. But here's here's Ama right here. Later, uh, Haruma Fuji, and uh, just super strong for a modern set. I just uh, I had to chuckle just a little bit when I was putting this together. You know, twenty twenty seven thousand yen for a, a two thousand and five set, and then you saw earlier, you know, less than uh, twenty thousand yen for a historic postcards and, and cards of of Rikshi of old um, from the 1930s you know so super strong prices I'm super I'm really glad to see all these going uh, for such strong prices and, and hopefully pull a lot more of this stuff out of the woodwork from Japan and into the hands of, of collectors who who truly appreciate it and enjoy it so alrighty everybody appreciate everybody tuning in today uh, for the uh, top 10 most interesting Yahoo Japan auctions I'm gonna switch over do just a few mail day highlights, uh, and then we'll call it a wrap for Sumo Card Hub this week. All right, thanks. We've had a fun little mail day this week, and so I just wanted to highlight a few items just to uh, to end Sumo Card Hub for this week. I'll start off with the uh, the 2019 Heisei BBM Special Edition cards, and how you got these is is you bought six magazines from BBM and they had coupons if you will proof of purchases that you would uh, send in and once you once you collected and bought all six books you would send in the six coupons and BBM would send back this special edition set here's the the flyer or the uh, the, the letter that they'd sent back with you can't can't quite translate it uh, my Japanese is pretty poor at this point but but basically, I'm assuming says congratulations. Here's your present. Thanks for buying all the books, um, and here's your nine cards. And those nine special edition cards came in in this holder, uh, thick plastic. Um, and so, if we if we open it up, so these these are special editions of the regular sets, or regular cards in the set. And you can see they say special edition down here at the bottom. Uh, and so again, the, the regular cards in the set look exactly like this. Obviously, they don't have the special edition stamped on there. But there's nine cards in the special edition set. You can see again, it says special edition cards, baseball magazine. And so they've got um, Yoshihito Yoshida from uh, rugby, the great Muta from uh, pro wrestling, and Daisuke Matsuzaka from baseball. And uh, in back, you can see... Oh, let me flip them over. You can see they're numbered, special numbering on the back. PR1, PR2, and then PR3, and they go PR1 through 9. I think probably most interesting to everybody here, though, is the Yokozuna Hakuho Special Edition card. That one's really hard to find. Uh, surprisingly, I've seen singles of these out there, so so these are only issued in sets, so somebody must have broken the set up and then, and then sold the singles. But uh, there's the Yokozuna Hakuho card. 
can see. Uh, Hideki Matsui, who's extremely popular and famous baseball player. Um, Hiroshi uh, Tanahashi, there for pro wrestling. And then again, Yoko's in Hakuho. And then I'll just finish off with the last three from the set. Um, there's uh, Kasuchika Okada, Okada from pro wrestling. Uh, Yumu uh, Goromaru from rugby. And then Shohei Otani from baseball. So there you go. And again, these are the, the special edition cards, hard to find. Uh, again, you had to buy six magazines, send them in, and then get the cards back. And uh, you don't see them pop up on, on Yahoo Japan auctions very often. And so I uh, saw it, had to pick it up, and did that. All right, so also wanted to highlight this kind of oddball card from the 1980s. This is a laminate card of Chia no Fuji from probably 1983, 82. Laminate cards were extremely popular and, and they get their name from a picture that's laminated. You can see here on the, the edges. Here's the number F, F111, Chino Fuji. So my, my guess is there was probably dozens if not hundreds in this laminate set. Uh, and uh, this happened to just be the Chino Fuji one in there. A lot of oddball sets from 1980s, like I was mentioning, and, and certainly I'm looking to do a lot more uh, research and investigation uh, into these laminate cards. But pretty cool. Picked it up, I think, for about 300 yen, so uh, not very expensive at all. The other cards in the background, just some doubles that you'll see me trying to um, I'll probably sell them on eBay or, or send them out to, to some individuals, but uh, just some great 1950s BC series. Um, Menko, uh, Menko Bromides, here's Kota Bahama, uh, Mitsuneyama, uh, Marusan, you can see those there. These are, again, these are doubles that I've had, and, uh, here's Chinoyama, Yokozuna, again from the Marusan, I think those are from 56 or 57, Kita no Nada here. From, I think that's a 57, um, double check. And then a couple game cards, uh, Kamizumo set, uh, Tochi no Umi, and uh, Fujinishiki doubles as well. And, and Kamizumo played, uh, you, know, you put these on a, on a table or on a piece of cardboard and you tap the cardboard. And then these rikshi would, uh, would, would basically battle each other. Um, they, they would vibrate uh, and bump into each other, and then if you can get one to push the other one over, you would be the winner. So look it up, Kamizumo, pretty cool. So anyway, those are just a few of the, the things I picked up this week uh, uh, from Yahoo Japan Auctions and other places around Japan. So appreciate everybody tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to Sumo Card Hub this week, and we'll talk to everybody next week. Sayonara. Bye.